Hello everybody, my name is Ratnos and welcome to another Great Vault video here, August the 22nd, 2023, and we've got uh, another moderately sized vault, pretty similar to last week. We've got a few characters that cleared the raid, uh, and a few characters that did a key. Not the entire 13 characters, and a lot of characters have got little one-slot vaults, but sometimes that excitement can make it even better. Now, I killed either four or five raid bosses on this character last week. Loot spec feral, that should be fine. So I've either got one or two raid rows. Um, Beacon of the Beyond would be very good. That would be nice. Ominous Chromatic Essence would also be very good. Either of these trinkets would be phenomenal. Cuffs of the Savage Serpent, I don't think. Uh, well, verse, I guess I already have verse haste. Yeah, 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 all right. We'll take the two tokens of merit. Okay, so I killed four bosses. I killed four bosses on my druid last week, not five. What was the other character I played in that run? I think that was my monk in that run? Uh... Yeah. Oh no, it was my paladin in that run, I think. Okay. Let's go check the paladin and we'll see what's in the vault. Surely there's something there. It's been so long since we raided uh, that I don't really remember. I know I killed bosses on my paladin. It's a mystery. We're gonna find out together just how many bosses this thing killed and we'll see what's in the vault for it. Also running, we're, you know, getting very close to full build here, so the, a lot of these characters' vaults are, you know, pretty long shots. Like, you can look at this thing's gear. 450 shoulders, 450 gloves, those can't really be beaten. 447, I guess I could, so I could see a 450 shield. One of those does exist. Uh, I could see tertiary on any slot. I could see four, <laughs> I could see a, yeah, 444 chromatic essence. I don't know, I mean, it's, yeah... We're full build here, pretty much. Oh, loot spec ret? That's wrong. I got a, uh, I remember getting a Gatiku, or not a Gatiku, but an Ashkander on this character. Did also get a Gatiku back in the day. That was before the days of the Great Vault videos, but back in the day, I got a, um, I got a Gatiku with Twilight Dev 3 on it. Week one of the, of that patch, of Corruption patch, on my Paladin. That was pretty good. That was a pretty good outcome. Okay. What do we got here? We got a, a pants with no tertiary, and we got a bloodfire extraction conduit. I changed my loot spec to holy because I decided that can still roll shields and, you know, could use an int weapon in case I ever want to heal. Because uh, I don't think I need sockets, do I? I guess maybe I technically do need sockets, huh? I need to throw a socket and a helmet and a ring. All right, I guess I should take this instead of some healer mace. I'm sure I can find a healer mace at some point if I ever... I don't really have any plans to heal. I was mostly just thinking, well, I don't need any... Any strength one-hander, but I think I need the Volcanic Sculptor more, so... Let's throw that into... I guess it's probably the helmet, because I don't... I'll probably want to replace this ring with, like, a Haste Mastery ring or something, so... Yeah, I'll just throw... Throw one of those in there. Stick a gem in there. And let's see what our other characters have. But first, a word from this video's sponsor. U.GG slash wow. That's right. They've sponsored another one. Can they be stopped? No, absolutely not. They will continue sponsoring videos for just as long as they make fantastic uh, content with the classes and specs that you can play in the game. This is like your one-stop shop for going and seeing uh, what you might need and what you can play on a certain spec in any given situation. So let's say Prop Paladin, because I was just on my Prop Paladin. Uh, you can see stuff like your stat priority at a glance. Haste Mastery, as I was saying. See, as I was saying about the ring there, Haste Mastery. Uh, and they've even got the, you know, greater than equals versus the greater than signs in here. You can also see M plus builds that people are using in their high keys. Uh, you can see how they deviate between tyrannical and fortified. Uh, and you can see also how things are looking in specific dungeons, which for Prop Paladin in particular, this is actually really sweet because there are, you know, spell warding dungeons and bop dungeons and uh, dungeons where you like the, the, the Prop Paladin talent tree has got a lot of niche stuff that you might want in some cases. So this can be a good thing. Uh, to see there. You can also, of course, do it by bosses, uh, but in addition to seeing talents and stuff, uh, which can be good on your main and your alts, this is a really good place to quickly look and see what sort of gear uh, might be bis for you, what, what sort of items you might be interested in, and you can not only get like this overview here, uh, but you can see what embellishments folks are using uh, and what uh, people are using in certain spots, right? The popularity in each slot of each different type of item, uh, and you can see, especially with like trinkets, you can look through there. Uh, and there's actually a dedicated trinket page that has even trinket combinations. Uh, you can see enchants and gems. 
uh, and all of that kind of stuff. So very useful site uh, if you are on a main or an alt for getting your, your gear, your build, uh, and keeping up with what different classes are up to. All right, let's go take a look at the next character. All right, so here is my Demon Hunter. This character, there's a, a 5 out of 9 mythic run now that I'm doing on this character. Allegedly, we're going to go for 9 out of 9 next week, but I doubt... I bet that was a meme, but... Uh, little alt run thing that... Yeah, kills Rashok now, which is pretty cool. Uh, so we've got two slots in the vault here. Not really any items that this character that I can think of that would show up here that would be an upgrade. Like, look at this, right? 447. I guess, so... Even though I haven't killed Neltharian on this character, you could, in theory, still see a 450 tier shoulders uh, from the Raid Rose, even if you haven't killed Neltharian. It's just a low chance uh, until you do. So that would be an upgrade. Uh, there's obviously Tertiaries in any slot would be an upgrade. But that's about it. I, I don't. I haven't killed Sarkrat, so I don't have Mythic Beacon unlocked. Yeah. All right, so 450 shoulders with a tertiary, please. One time. Can I be lucky in this game one time? Nope, of course not. Never, never, ever lucky. All right, well, do I even have use for a socket? Not really. Uh, all right, so do we take the Violent Grave Mask for the Mog? That's like Rogue Mythic tier Mog. There's a good chance I'll be able to just upgrade into that on my Rogue at some point. Uh... Yeah, but the other option is the socket. Definitely never upgrading out of these leech bracers. Uh, yeah. Whew, I don't know, I kind of don't need anything on this character, huh? What I need to do is I need to start killing Sarkarath on the character. Maybe this week I'll bring this thing to a Sarkarath kill and uh, try and sort that out. Although the raid buff situation, we already have like a Havoc Demon Hunter main and alt, so I usually don't need to play this for that. All right, well... I'm going to take the Tokens of Merit. I don't think I need this Mog here, because I'm pretty sure I have a Hero Track helmet on my Rogue uh, that I can just upgrade for that. So, yeah, we'll take the Tokens of Merit. And, you know, mission kind of... I mean, this, see, here's the thing, right? It's like, this is a weird part about Vaults this season, and this is why these videos, I'm sure, uh, are sinking in views, is that it's just really hard to find an upgrade on a geared character, right? Like, you're, you click open your Vault, and it's just like... Like, you look through the, the loot table, and unless there's a tertiary on a, an item in a good slot that you already have, right? Like, you're... Or a trinket, right? Like, the raid trinkets are also always uh, always nice to see. Then there's kind of not much that can show up here. Here's my warrior. Uh, I have... I actually have a 444 ring already, so I don't even really need a ring upgrade. Uh, I need to put a socket in that. So this character, maybe I'm just happy taking a fractional socket. Could also see a helmet, uh, a one-hander. Okay, a one-hander is pretty good. A haste, a verse haste one-hander, that's pretty good. All right, all right, okay. That's uh, that's hard to argue with. As soon as I was talking about how hard it is to find upgrades, but this is a character, you see, this character actually still needs a bunch of stuff, right? I've still got Hero Track 437 stuff. So I need to actually bring this character to some raid uh, so that I can get some, you know, eye level, right? Get some crests, get some, get some, uh, get some upgrades available. Okay, uh, Sophic Devotion. I can buy that. So fake Devo. Enchant weapon. And ooh, my Arc Light capacitors sold. Those Arc Light capacitors sold. I got I got a big resourcefulness proc when I was crafting an Evoker legendary piece on this character. Uh, and I got like 26 Arc Light capacitors out of it and sold for 9,000 gold there. Nice outcome. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty good. This is that's a lot of damage. This character is now. 443, but it's kind of a deceptive 443 because I still actually have a lot of upgrades I can make with Aspect Crest. So maybe I'm going to try and bring this thing to a raid of some kind this week too because it could still really use it. Most of my other characters cannot. All right, here is my monk. My monk is also full build, but I did do a key on it. So there is a chance that we could find a tertiary. You never know. Um, the chance is slim. Look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to level with you guys. We got one upgrade on my warrior. Even that was pretty unlikely. There were a lot of slots that wouldn't have been upgrades. This character... Yeah, the only thing we could see is like... Uh, chest piece, necklace, cloak with the tertiary on it. All of those would be good. I need to actually craft a necklace as well. My necklace is still 441 on this character. I've been being lazy, but I need to go craft a 447 necklace. So seeing a 447 necklace would mean that I don't have to craft. That would save me a couple thousand gold. That could be... 
That could be nice. Oh, I guess I could loot like a Mistweaver item as well. I'll say Windwalker. Gore Splattered Vest. No tertiary. Also, this is a haste item. But I haven't collected this appearance. Oh, it's one of those BFA... Have I really not collected a leather BFA chest appearance? I think I remember this thing having terrible Azerite in it back in BFA. Um, for Rogue, so maybe that's what... That's so weird, because I did play... I played Rogue that expansion quite a lot, so... Figured I would see this by now. Well, I guess I could take my 12th Tokens of Merit, though. That's kind of good. Uh, the Mog the Mog is appealing, but it's not a particularly good Mog anyway, so whatever. We'll take the... We'll take the Tokens of Merit. All right, uh, tanks. Oh, no way, I've got one more good tank. One more... Uh, this character actually should have been higher up on the list before too many of you closed out of the old video here, but those of you who stayed, you're in for a treat. This character did a full clear of the raid, so... We've got three Vault Rows. Now, I did already loot basically every good item off of... We, this character's killed Echo of Neltharian and Sarkrath twice now, and the first time, not much dropped. The second time, I got kitted out. I've got 450 gloves, chest piece, uh, shoulders, Ash Condor. So, kind of full build on this thing, too. Beacon to the Beyond would be really cool. Loot spec. Let's go... I guess let's stay Unholy. Uh, yeah, Beacon to the Beyond, Ominous Chromatic Essence. You're going to hear me say that on a lot of characters, but that is generally the big upgrades available. All right, Indestructible Gloves, but they are 444 in a slot. I have 450. Cagney's Scorching Talisman. That's, I think, good for one of the specs. And then the Onyx Imposter's Birthright. Well, I mean, that's got to be better than my Sky Shard Ring, right? I guess it's less haste, but it's more crit and more stam. And it comes with a socket as well. I'm going to I'm going to take this as well just the eye level on it, you know. It's nice for that purpose and I don't think I I mean I guess I do need a socket for this thing, but I'd rather take the 450 with, you know, 450 ring given I already have a crit haste ring. Like the stats aren't aren't ideal for uh blood DK tankiness. Crit is not particularly good for that, but it is good for damage. Damage scales nicely with uh, with crit for the spec, so, you know, that's good. And, I don't know, there's just something about taking the high level pieces when they're offered that feels good. You're not, you know, now now there's like one less potential 450 item that this thing could ever possibly want if it did. Yeah, alright. So, uh, 447 Blood Decay here. Just gotta find a beacon and a, like, just... Basically the same thing is true of all my, my characters except for my monk, which is their item level is now really high, but... They still don't have, like, ideal trinkets we're still looking for. I don't own any Mythic Chromatic Essences except on my Monk, which doesn't even wear one because I'm wearing, you know, Beacon Bomb Dispenser. Um, and then, yeah, I got a lot of characters that are still missing a heroic... Well, actually, they've almost all got heroic beacons, but they're missing Mythic Beacons, which... Ideally, I get those over the, over the course of the next, you know, few months uh, to go into next year with, but yeah, heroic's not that much worse. All right, speaking of a character that needs trinkets, this is my wizard, and it's got a 4 411 fire colors focus. You can see the nerfs coming in bad for me here. I'm going to be doing very bottom damage after another round of nerfs on this thing. Uh, but I've still been having fun playing fire, even though I'm very much not good at it. All right, little myth track uh, verse crit piece on the belt. So that's okay. We can uh, We can grab that and... Equip, and the question is what this catalyzes into. Somebody put something below my video about how you can, like, go and find what the off pieces catalyze into, but I forget what it was. Let's see. So, belt. Uh, Underlight Conjurer's Charm Belt. Okay. Underlight Charm Belt. I, I, yeah, I don't, I don't remember what it was. Somebody somewhere did sh say there was a way to do it with the in-game... Because, like, you obviously you can see what stats your other pieces are going to have, but you can't easily see what your off pieces catalyze into. Somebody did show or put away below my last video that I remember reading in the comments, but then I forgot to remember the process. I just remember reading it, so... Either way, let's go... We'll go take a quick look at the actual catalyzer and see what it has to say about it, because that's going to be a... Uh, that's going to be a nice way to just just make sure... So I've got Verse Crit right now. Turns into Verse Mastery. I think that's better for Fire. Uh, so we'll send that. And also Mog Upgrade too. So hard to argue with that. 
And yeah, okay, cool. Nice little upgrade there. Still sitting on the uh, fire collar's focus that I'd rather not have, but that's okay. That's a nice item, and it's good to have an excuse for doing low damage. As long as you have some really suspicious item like this, it doesn't matter if you have a key where you're third in damage or whatever, even though you're playing a broken fire mage. You can just link the item at the end of your key and be like, yeah, look you know, look what I'm dealing with, right? And then, and then everybody's like, oh, wow, you did so much damage for having such a bad item. So it's kind of an important part of the plan, actually, for, for that character. All right, here's my shaman. My shaman I also did a, a fun key on. This character is, uh, I've actually been having quite a lot of fun playing Ellie, but I'm still opening vaults and enhance, because if I pick up an enhance weapon, I will, uh, I'll do enhance in my key next week instead, because I want, I do want to do an enhance key at some point this season. Loot spec enhance. Yeah, gear kind of coming together on this thing too. This thing is, is getting quite high level. Oh, Adornments of the Cinderwolf. Okay, so this is an interesting choice, actually. This saves me two Aspects Crests, and this character is... You know, I have some aspect crests, but I I have I can use the next like twenty aspect crests that I get. So I'm actually thinking I'm supposed to take this adornments of the Cinderwolf uh, for the eye level upgrade equity that it gives. Uh, but let me show you guys an advanced technique here that you can do once you do this. So you might be thinking, oh, just equip this and enchant it, right? But my other adornments of the Cinderwolf are on the myth track. So I can upgrade them now just using Flight Stones because I, I took the 447 chest there. So because Flight Stones are much less valuable to me than gold, I'm going to upgrade this using Flight Stones instead, and I'll keep my enchant. And uh, bang, gold saved. Mission accomplished. Uh, so there's a little trick you can use. See, even in the vault videos, we always find a way to sneak some educational content in. But that is my last character uh, for this week. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks to those of you that are still watching. No idea why. Again, these vaults just can't contain any good items. But uh, thanks for hanging out nonetheless. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Bye.